Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me doing my mom's makeup. Um, we're going to use the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance with Olay Foundation. Um, I know this one is way too light, but we tried to find a match while we were at the store, and this was the closest match that we could find. Um, I do kind of bronze her to make it match a little bit better, but I'm just blending that all over her skin, a really light layer of it, with a Real Techniques sponge that is damp. And then I'm going to take a Flower Beauty concealer pen and just kind of highlight underneath her eyes and um, down the center of her face and then also blend that out with a little mini beauty blender. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended down her neck really well. That way there are no harsh lines and once I put the bronzer on it kind of helps even everything out a little bit. And then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. Um, I'm just doing a really, really little bit of this to kind of set the foundation just because that foundation didn't really feel like it was going to set. Um, if you had a foundation that isn't as like hydrating I guess as this one. You could easily go without powder and I actually recommend that. Um, but I just set everything with a really little amount of powder. And then I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer from Benefit and use this to kind of even out her skin tone. So I go around the perimeter of her face and really um, match that to the rest of her body. And then I'm also going to contour a little bit with it.
And then I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. Um, this is just the uh, like pinky coral one that I've used in a few of my other videos. I don't know the exact name of it. I will write it in the down bar. Um, I'm just using a little bit of that to kind of highlight her cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild highlighter um, in... Oh gosh, is this Precious Petals? Is that what this is called? Or maybe that's what the blush is called? Either way, I'll, I'll link them down below. And then I'm just filling in her eyebrows with a little bit of brow powder. Um, this is just one that ma matches her hair a little. It's a little lighter than her hair because she's pretty dark hair. Um, I'm just going in and kind of making really like feathery strokes with a powder just so it's not too harsh because she never does her eyebrows and I didn't want to go like super hardcore and freak her out with it, so. And then I'm just going through with a clean spoolie and brushing them all out and making sure that everything is nice and blended. And then this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kathleen Lights. I'm just applying that all over her lid. Um, this is one of my favorite colors of like the ColourPop shadows, so I like to use it on everyone. And then I'm just taking a bronzer, this is the one from the e.l.f. contour kit, and I'm going in her crease as kind of a transition shade and to blend out that um, ColourPop shadow. I'm just going to take this brown shade from the Stila in the Light palette and work that into your crease to kind of deepen everything up and make it look a little more like put together. Um, you could skip this step if it's too much for you, but she kind of gave me free reign, so I went a little overboard. But uh, yeah, I'm just taking this and blending it softly into the crease, not too much. And then I'm going to take the shade Bubbly and put that on her inner corners and right under her brow bone just to kind of make those pop a little bit. And then I'm taking that dark brown and running it slightly underneath her lower lash line just to pull everything together. And 
then I'm just taking a brown eye pencil. This is one from Ulta, but you could use anything. And I'm putting a really, really, really thin line right on her lash line just to um, kind of darken up the lashes. And then I let her do her own mascara because I didn't want to poke her in the eye. And then I'm using a ColourPop lip liner, and this is in BFF, I think, um, just to line her lips. And then I went in with a bronzy shade of the lip glosses from Juice Beauty, and that was about it. Alright guys, I hope you liked this, and if you haven't seen these videos, go check them out, and don't forget to subscribe! Thanks!